Hey there everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today I'd like to take you through a lower body ball series. And if you don't have a small soft ball, you could also do this with a folded small pillow. So grab just something, even a towel will work, something that you can just squeeze onto. We're gonna place the ball between our knees and just lie back onto the back. So get your feet comfortable distance from your hips. We're gonna start by activating the inner thighs. So just holding on to the ball, the towel, or the pillow. Just want you to think about pulsing in to that ball or whatever you're holding. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. So we're kinda gonna warm up as we go into these exercises. So don't worry about the rest of your body here. Just make yourself comfortable on your back. Focusing in just on the inner thighs here, squeezing and releasing, squeezing and releasing. Now go ahead and squeeze into the ball, holding that contraction. Think about going a little bit further into that squeeze, pulsing in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep a hold of that ball, flex your feet, lift your legs up to a tabletop position where your knees are above your hips. We're going to turn the heels out, rotating into that ball, and then come back to parallel. So your heels are turning out, you're externally rotating, and then coming back in. Externally rotating through the heels, the knees are turning in, internal rotation. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, working into those hips again just warming things up and in being gentle just kind of paying attention to how your hips are feeling how much degree of rotation you can get here nice one more time and let's place the feet back down to the floor and just focus on the glutes now. So we're gonna keep just holding the ball between the knees, squeezing up, really pressing away from the floor, lifting through those glutes, come about halfway down to the floor and squeeze up again. So it's halfway down and lift, halfway down and lift, adding that ball squeeze again, up and down. So you don't have to get a big range of motion through your back here because we really wanna focus on the glute contraction at the top. So just really focusing on squeezing through those glutes as you lift those hips a little higher and up and down, that's it, and up and down. Staying with that contraction at the top, pulsing into that bridge for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two one lower down good so let's warm up the back of the leg here we're going to take a little hold squeezing the ball or pillow or whatever you're using behind the thigh kind of holding it between your calf and the back of your leg so just waking up through that hamstring squeeze like you're trying to pop your ball and then slightly release it but still hold on to it squeeze and release squeeze and release Good, four more just like that. Squeeze and release. Two more. Pulsing and hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Before we go to the other side, let's wake up the quadriceps. So we're gonna extend that leg. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but I want you to push down. The thigh is lifting up and your hands and ball are pressing down into the leg. So feel the top of that thigh activate here. Press, press, press and lift. Press, press, press and lift. And again, holding up little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Warming up the other side, taking that ball or pillow behind the calf and thigh squeeze and release so this one you got to really think about that contraction drawing the heel closer towards your body squeezing into that ball imagining you're trying to pop it as if it was a balloon squeeze and release and squeeze and release focusing in on those muscles we don't have to big do 
big, big movements all the time. Sometimes it's really nice to go small but strong, pulsing into it. This is also helping us just really strengthen that mind-body-muscle connection so that next time you are ready to go harder or heavier with your weights or your workouts, you have a better connection to that activation of the muscles and release it let's go back into the top of the thigh extending it out as straight as you can press up and lift and release up and in and release up and in release it good up and release holding this one up little pulse range at the top eight seven six five four three two and one great job let's turn on to our side doesn't matter which one you want to start with because we're gonna do both sides so we're gonna lie onto the side and take a clamshell now you could put your hand or your ball on the outside of that knee just to add a little extra resistance or just do this with your leg only we're gonna open and close that knee now we're externally rotating from that hip Just make your head comfortable. Go as wide as you can into it. We're gonna do eight more like that. And eight, and down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay up at the top, little pulse into it for eight, seven six five four three two and one good now while we're here just take that ball out in front of you extend the leg in front in line with your hip and we're going to trace a little rainbow from the front corner of our mat up and to the back trying to keep the rest of your body nice and steady front and back front and back So you're making a nice upside down letter U here. Big range of motion. Make it as large as you can. One more time to the front. One more time to the back. Lining it up in line with your hip. Flex your foot. Again, you could use that ball. Pulsing. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now just hold it at the top, squeeze, 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 and release it. Good, let's swing it around and take that on the other side, starting with that clamshell position. Again, just make yourself comfortable with or without that ball or hand on top, opening and closing from the hip. So my hips are stacked on top of each other, Make your bottom arm comfortable, your head, neck comfortable. Work on that external rotation from the hip. Okay. It's a nice sunny day here in Florida, so I am feeling the heat on this one, even though we're not doing a lot of cardio exertion. Good. Get into that deep muscle work. Holding it at the top, little pulse. Eight. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Extending that leg out in line with your hip to start that rainbow. Front and back. So your hand can be on your mat or on your ball. And just kind of observe how this side feels in comparison to the other one. Nice, big, full range of motion. Front corner and back corner. And finishing this one, take it in line with your hip, with or without that ball, flexing through the foot, pulse up and in. We got eight more, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, hold it up, squeeze, and release it, nicely done. Let's go back to those inner thighs one more time. We're gonna really squeeze into that ball. You could come up onto your elbows if you'd like, or come all the way back onto your back. Just pulsing in. I'm coming up onto my tiptoes. If you wanna keep your feet flat, that's fine. Just again, see what feels good. Adjust the ball as much as you need to. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pulsing in to that ball. Really trying to imagine again that it's a balloon that we're trying to pop here. Squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, good. Now we're gonna hold into the ball, pulsing one, two, three slight release. So these are very small, subtle movements, hard to see. We gotta really feel them. One, two, three, slight release. So you're squeezing in, two, three, slight release. In, two, three, slight release of it. In, two, three, slight release. One more. Now really tapping into the mind-body connection. Focus on just your right leg pulsing in for eight, seven six five four three two now just the left knee pulses in eight seven six five four three two both knees again for eight seven six five four three two nice all right let's grab that ball rock ourselves up to a kneeling position and we're gonna take the ball behind one leg. Now you could stay on your hands or come to your elbows. Just kind of see what feels most comfortable for you. We're gonna keep that contraction of the hamstring, abs in nice and tight. Without sinking into the low back, we're gonna lift that leg up, to and down. Up, to and down. Squeezing, squaring up your hips. Again, if you feel better on your hands, go ahead and stay with your arms extended here. Drive up to that back heel, pulse to and down. Two more like that. Take this one up and hold it. Just squeeze your heel in towards your glutes for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, cross that knee back behind the standing knee and up, not really the standing knee, supporting knee. Two, and lift. Three, go back in line with your hip at the top. Four, and squeeze. Five, and squeeze. Six, seven, and eight. And release it, come up for a second just to switch out your legs. I'm gonna turn around this way. Grab it behind that other leg. Here we go. Hands or elbows, flex into that ball. And we pulse up, two, and down. Keep holding onto it. Up, two, and down. Up. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Try not to lean to one side. Keep your shoulders and your hips nice and square. Holding it up, pulsing it in, squeeze. And taking that leg, dropping it back, down and up. Cross it back, try to tap that bottom leg if you can, right behind that calf. One more. And release it down, great job. One more here, we're just gonna finish up with the quads and the glutes, taking that ball between your knees. Turn more on the side here. Squeezing into the ball, hands at your hips, hinge back slightly. If you need more padding underneath, just place a pillow or fold your mat under. We're gonna sit back and lift. So it's a little sit back into the hips. Tucking that pelvis under, squeezing your glutes, 
lots of work to the tops of those thighs. If it doesn't work for you to be on your knees, just go ahead and skip this one or go into a regular floor bridge instead. Down and lift. So it's a very small range of motion. We're sitting at the top here. Squeeze and tuck. So I'm sitting back into my hips, tucking under. Feeling the burn here. Good. Down and lift. Great job, let's, almost done. We're gonna release it here. Go ahead and come out onto your side. You could balance on the ball for more of a core challenge or just place your hand down. Just be safe if you're balancing on that ball. We're gonna extend that top leg up and tap it down. Now, if it doesn't work for you to be on your knee, take it down to your hip here instead. So lots of options, choose the one that's working for you. Think of lengthening your leg out as it comes up. Lots of control, a lot of core in this part too. Good. Up. Hold it up. See if you can keep your balance. Lifting up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold bring it in let's carefully switch sides remember you can also lie on your side set it up on this side to make it feel comfortable for you and we lengthen and lift and lower so wherever you're at make sure you're pushing down and away from the floor not sinking into your wrist abs and nice and tight line up that leg with your hip good lots of energy reaching out through the toes Good, nice square pelvis, lots of control here. Two more. Take this one up and hold, we're almost done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Ah, set it down, nicely done. All right, let's just take a quick stretch here, sitting cross-legged if that feels good to you. And just stretching through the hips, you can reach across your opposite knee. Use that ball if you'd like to support your stretch. Feeling those hips, another side. Opening out for the inner thigh and the hamstrings here, just stretching forward. Switching it out, take a deep breath, stretch. Try not to round too far forward, think about lengthening. And one more for those inner thighs, little straddle, nothing too major. Tipping the pelvis forward, stretch. Shake out those legs a little bit. Great job, thank you so much for joining me for this lower body ball session. Hopefully you'll keep this one in mind anytime you might need a couple alternatives to our traditional squats and lunges. Remember strengthening that mind body muscle connection can help you get even more out of your heavier lifting workouts as well. Thanks so much for joining me for this session. Can't wait to get moving with you again soon. Take care everybody.